Uh, did you hear the um, Manuela talking about like the pictures? What she was saying about the the gospel and the written word. Oh yes. Yeah, people couldn't read, so they have they had to have the pictures of every. I'm also very concerned that this is way too quiet. We are in church. True. Do you need to check your hair? I do. Okay. This is I've been awake for 48 hours. That long? Have we been awake that long? Not 48. Close. We're at least at 30. Probably. Well, I took a nap. Did you take a nap? Yeah. Yeah. I took a okay. nap. I took a nap. It was a great nap. <laughs> I'm so much more awake right now. So yeah, we got in to Rome at. Um, 7.40 local time uh -huh. this morning, and that was like 2 o'clock yeah, um, local time, so for you guys in Indiana, at 2 a.m. on Monday morning, we got into Rome and we started touring <laughs> the place right away. <laughs> right away. It, immediately. <laughs> like, we went straight from the airport to, what was the name of the, the St. Paolo? Basilica. St. Paolo. Saint Paolo. So, it was an Italian name, but it was a really big, it was a really big church, and that was the first place we went right after the airport. So we did that, and then we went to this market for lunch, and everybody was exhausted. And then we went to the hotel, and a lot of us took a nap. Some people didn't, and they're probably suffering right now. Mm -hmm. We should find them. We should. Hey everyone! Uh, right now I am in the Basilica of St. Mary Major. This is my friend Mary, very appropriate. I wanted to try and make some videos to show you guys where I was going this week so that uh, when I get back maybe I can share something with you all um, so that you can learn something just like I'm learning something this week. Now that is a baptismal fountain. We're going to take a group picture. <laughs> We're just, you know, we really need some gelato. We haven't had any. <laughs> <laughs> haven't had any gelato for a few hours. We were only talking about it. We have a strict order from John to have it at least twice a day. It has to be twice a day. I've only had it once. Well, I haven't even had gelato once today, so I'm behind. Yeah. Father Patrick has it like three times a day. So yeah. I'm really, I'm hoping later this week. I'm hoping later this week I can take a Is picture a with gelato and then tag Father Patrick in the picture because I think, actually I think she all of us should, should do that. You can walk behind us, but look at these donuts. Can we facial vomit in front of the Vatican? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. As, yeah, at some point. <laughs> Let's do it in front of the Pope. <laughs> Let's get him to do it with us. Should we do a normal picture first, though? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Hey, this is Rachel, and that's Austin and Anna Hi. behind us. And we're out in front of the Vatican right now, ready to go into the what? museum. Vatican! Nick's excited. Hey. I'm trying to make a video for all the youth ministry kids. Oh, great. Um, but I don't really know what to talk about since we're just out in front of a <laughs> giant wall. Behind this huge wall is something, something pretty exciting. Join us on this video today and find out what that something is. There you go. Take a picture of us puking. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> in the basilica. Okay, so right now we're in St. Peter's Basilica. One thing that I didn't know that's really cool is on the floor there are different areas. See the one over there. But there are different areas on the floor that tell you where major basilicas end because this is the biggest one. It shows you where different basilicas in the world end. And um, so way back there you can see where the basilica starts and we're almost to the end right here i have no idea where saint charles is in comparison to this but you see way up there where these walls end around that beginning i took a picture and i'll show it to you all um, is where saint patrick's in new york ends uh, this place is absolutely massive it's really hard to get the scope in a video so right now I'm on the spot in the floor where um, St. Patrick's in New York, which is the largest church in America, comes out to. So in the back, you can see that that's the start of St. Pat um, Peter's here in Rome. And then where I'm standing right now is how far St. Patrick's comes out. Um, um, and then if I turn around, uh, you can see just how much farther back St. Peter's goes. And in the other video, the other perspective I give you, I'm all the way in the back. I think you all remember a trivia question for, from a few weeks ago. The Pieta is back there. <laughs> Luke, we gotta go pray. Okay. This place is so big, so big. Austin, how big is this place? It's large, extra large. Uh, we're walking through St. Peter's Square right now. Uh, but the one thing that I'm really noticing is that it is a circle, not a square. <laughs> that is the big takeaway. Thanks, Liv. <laughs> That's the church back there. Uh, we prayed in the Eucharistic chapel there. We weren't allowed to have cameras. Uh, but the best part of that chapel, kneelers. Most comfortable kneelers in my entire life. Everybody agrees. One in charge for the youth and We're at an audience with the Pope right now, and he just came out, and everybody's super excited. There's a lot of people here. From England. 
pilgrims from the following parishes. St. Augustine, Kingshead, Birmingham. St. Lawrence, Fathom, Haslow. St. Anne, Anston, Underlake. There are a lot of people here. From Japan, a group of Risha Kosai. There's a lot of English-speaking churches, Buddhists. too, from places that I would not expect English-speaking churches from to be from. Also, they're doing these introductions in several different languages, and so now they're now that they're done with English, they're doing it in Arabic, which is I think is really cool. So far, they've done Spanish, German, Portuguese, Italian, English. What are the, Arabic? Have, have there been any other French. ones? Very interesting. French? Yeah. Did they do French? I think when the book was going around, we. Kind of oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so now they're doing it in French. The, Ara the Arabic announcements were incredibly short. We thought the Pope was going to come around again, but he went up the center. He was His Holiness, we then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to the members of your families at home. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children and to your loved ones who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, during this holy year of mercy, we have reflected on God's mercy revealed in the incarnation of his Son, and on our duty as followers of Jesus to be merciful like the Father. In St. Matthew's Gospel, the Lord tells us that we will be judged by the mercy we show to him present in the list of our brothers and sisters. His words have inspired the seven traditional corporal works of mercy, feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, welcoming the stranger, healing the sick, visiting the imprisoned, and burying the dead. The church's tradition also adds seven spiritual works of mercy, counseling the doubtful, instructing the ignorant, admonishing sinners, comforting the afflicted, forgiving offenses, bearing patiently those who do us ill, and praying for the living and the dead. As expressions of living faith, these works are often carried out quietly and with simple gestures. Yet, as saints like Mother Teresa of Calcutta show us, they reveal the merciful face of Christ and can change the culture around us. Let us keep them always in mind and strive to practice them daily. Se presenti all'odierna udienza, specialmente quelli provenienti da Inghilterra, Jersey, Irlanda, Danimarca, Ghana, Namibia, Nigeria, Australia, Nuova Zelanda, Indonesia, Giappone, Malaysia, Filippini e Stati Uniti d'America. Confervi di auguri che il presente giubileo della misericordia sia per voi e per le vostre famiglie un tempo di grazia e di rinnovamento spirituale, invoco su voi tutta la gioia e la pace del Signore Gesù. I greet the English speaking pilgrims and visitors taking part in today's audience, particularly those from England, Jersey, Ireland, Denmark, Ghana, Namibia, Nigeria, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, the Philippines, and the United States of America, with prayerful good wishes that the present Jubilee of Mercy will be a moment of grace and spiritual renewal for you and your families, I invoke upon all of you joy and peace in our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I I keep doing that. I keep putting my finger in front of the camera because oh, I'm terrible at this. It's a video. Video. Because what I've been doing this week, or been trying to doing, is take like a video journal for those. They're not with us. All uh, right. <laughs>
You're right. I've been trying to take a video journal for all my youth ministry kids so that when I get back, I can show them some of the like religious things that I did this week. Dope. <laughs> so that they can learn something. Uh, so everybody, this is Jack. What's up? Jack, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, I am Jack. Uh, I met Luke at Bethlehem Farm. I'm from Alabama. I'm currently studying in Rome. Uh, I'm a philosophy theology major, and one day I hope to be a priest. Um, so here's hoping for that. Yeah, <laughs> a priest that looks like John Lennon. Yeah, we'll see what <laughs> seminary does, though. They probably make it cut all my hair off. Uh, one thing that I want to point out, I, I think I talk a lot about community and the importance of uh, having that community centered around the Eucharist. I met Jack at Bethlehem Farm and I think we became very close friends uh, centered around uh, in a relationship centered around prayer. Absolutely. Would, would you agree with that? Jack? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so I think it shows the strength uh, of unity in the Eucharist that we can meet up in Rome and get to see each other thousands of miles away from home. Uh, any funny stories that you want to tell? Uh, from Rome or just in general? Just, what, whatever your heart desires. Whatever my heart desires. Uh, time flies like an arrow, but fruit flies prefer a banana. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic Jack. Let's see. Uh. Right, right. Eat your vegetables. CC, you can see it in the background behind me, and I'll try and get another shot of it tomorrow in the daylight. Uh, I want to apologize really quickly for all the fingers in the way. I'm not a film guy, and so we're here in Assisi. Today we toured, um, I forget the name of the church, St. Mary of the Angels, I think it is. It was the church uh, for the Franciscans where St. Francis was. Uh, and so his like his little chapel is like inside the actual basilica itself. So there's the big church, the big building, and then uh, a chapel that St. Francis restored himself while he was alive is right in the middle of it, which is pretty cool. And so I went in there and I prayed for a little bit, prayed for all of you, um, my family members and stuff like that. There are a lot of other cool things. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you a lot of them because you're not allowed to take pictures in there. In fact, a lot of the places that I've been, you haven't been able to take pictures in, which I'm sorry about. So hopefully I can take some more videos um, and get some more pictures for you all here in a CC so uh, that you can all have um, kind of an idea of what I went through and what I experienced here in Rome. Italy, I meant to say Italy, not in Rome anymore. Hello, Luke's class. This is Mary. I am coming to you live from a fortress. Uh, Luke is not here. He is down in the Valley of Assisi, but we wanted to show you what it looks like uh, so you could follow along on the journey. Uh, this fortress was built by Pope Pius II, we believe. So here are some views. It was built for military purposes to keep the city of Assisi safe uh, and all of its inhabitants. Pretty cool area up here. You can see all of the Umbri, Umbria uh, region of Italy. is part of, again, the fortress. We are on the western side uh, where there is a, a tower uh, and you can see the other tower over there. When times get rough and my soul has lost its fire I turn to God my adore And my 
my candle has lost his flame. I turn to Ha, ha, ha.